beliefs, your home. Doesn't matter who you are, there's just some things you have to protect. But what do you do when the world fights back? Guess I know now. Wish I could go back in time and tell myself. But I was not ready to hear it. Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we'll be doing a first day overview of Forspoken. In this game you'll be playing as Frey Holland, a, woman, a young woman who is transported from New York City to the fantasy world of Asia. She will uses magical powers to journey through it and survive in order to find her way home. You will need to harness newly discovered magical abilities to battle the terrifying monster that inhabit the land. To have a chance of returning home, she also have to contend with the Tantas, distractive and twisted all-powerful matriarchs who have dominion over Afia. Frey will be helping achieving her goals by Kaf, a magical sentient bracelet of uncertain origin that will help her navigate through the sprawling landscapes of Afia. The bosses of the game will be the magic wielding corrupted matriarchs of Afia known as the Tantas, who were once beloved rulers of the land and were beloved by their people who enjoyed lives of plenty under their guidance until the arrival of the break. It wasn't until one day without warning they mysteriously become oppressors, become aggressive and hateful. As the most powerful sorcerers in Ephia, the Tantas pose a very dangerous threat to Frey. So far Spoken is an open world action role playing uh, game yes, in which you will perform uh, parkour like actions related to both field exploration and combat. I think this part sets it apart from the other uh, open world RPG games. Another thing that sets it apart from other uh, games but not all is that in this game we will be using um, spells and items instead of weapons and armor. In order to overcome uh, monsters and bosses in this game, you will have uh, available up to 100 uh, spells to achieve that. As you can be seen here, you can select them while you battle a boss or a master. You have a wheel and you can choose what uh, is best suited for the current situation. Couple this with the parkour like movement and it's quite fun. The fighting and the parkour like movement is the, my favorite part of the game. When it comes to monsters so far, I must confess that I'm not that impressed. They don't seem that powerful but then again I'm playing on easy. I chose easy just to be sure that can I, I can enjoy the story more than the game as I didn't expect it to have so much fun fighting. Once you get used to combining uh, parkour movement with uh, uh, the spells, it's, you will see that it's quite easy to overcome the monsters in front of you. You just have to hold control pressed and, so, and move uh, sideways and just use sometimes space and just shoot uh, the enemy in front of you and you will overcome it quite easily. I'm not sure if this applies to the other difficulty as well but for easy this works quite well. If you pay attention during some fights you will hear cough uh, helping you in the sense that suggesting what you should use. This game has a lot of cutscenes and what I don't like is that you have sometimes black screen between these cutscenes and I don't understand why. Maybe this is used for loading but I don't understand why they went with this approach as it seemed very 2010. 
Another thing that I don't like is that sometimes when we ha uh, finish a cutscene and Kaf is speaking, you cannot move. You have a few moments or a few seconds when you cannot do that while you speak with him or also when he speaks. Here, as you can see, this town is under attack, but the sound... Does this sound like a city that is under attack? To me, it doesn't. I mean, the sound in this game is quite awful. From the speech that um, Frey has with herself in her mind, it sounds like you're like in a big hole to this. So listen to see if you hear sounds. Alden! She's up in the square! You have to hurry! Didn't look like a town under siege. Also, the graphics for this game looks quite outdated. I mean, look at New York here and it looks like a game from 2015 or even an older game. I must confess that the main character looks quite nice, but the surroundings of the, uh, the surroundings looks quite bad. And I'm not talking only about New York, I'm talking also about the Afia, the uh, mystical land, and I was not impressed with uh, how it looks like. So here, it, how it looks a new, a modern game. This is a Plague's game and it looks amazing compared to um, Frostpoken. So I don't think it has great graphics. Another thing that I really hate is that the game crashed a couple of times while I was playing. So I'm not sure why this is happening, but uh, it happened like three times in two, a little bit more than two hours. So it's too much. So I played the game for almost two hours and I must confess that uh, I enjoyed the most fighting. I mean it's really really nice, I really enjoy it in the sense that I like how you uh, combine the movement with um, magic and it's quite novel, at least to me. Another thing that I like is the effects, the particle effects when you are fighting. It uh, looks really nice and with my hardware I don't see any issues. I mean I was expecting a little bit uh, more starters but uh, it seems that it's working properly. So no issue there. And this actually I enjoyed as well. The way that you can move in this game it's quite unique and uh, it's novel to me like I said and I really enjoy it. The story seems to be a little bit more interesting as, uh, as you progress further into the game but I haven't played that much to actually tell if it's good or not. For Spoken is an open world RPG game that disappoints in most areas where a RPG game should be stronger. The story is ok so far, but the cutscenes are really bad edited, I mean the pauses between them like a dark clouding screen are a bad choice. The sound during cutscenes, the ambient sound is not there. I think it sounds like a work done by an amateur like myself. I also think that because the lack of quality sound, the cutscene fa scenes fail to leave a mark on you and fail to deliver the story. Another thing that I am disappointed, disappointed in is the graphics. It looks outdated. The color palette they chose is not good, at least this is my point of view. I would have enjoyed a more vivid palette, but maybe that would not have portrayed the state of the current land. Still, they could have chosen better colors for the, the cities. For the money you pay for this game at release, I think it's, a, it's wasted money. I would wait for a sale, as this game, in my opinion, is not worth more than 20 euros. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumb, thumbs up button.